Hi, welcome to our class of personal training Zen course. In this class, we will learn how to deal better with your feelings and with your thoughts. This step is really important because people usually have less results in their lives and they don't know why. If you don't have discipline, it's only a consequence what is happening in your life. In this class, you're going to learn an incredible and simple tool, but you have to practice it every day. The first step is, when you feel something bad, you have to face it. You have to make a connection to understand it better. There is no way to solve a problem that you cannot understand. But our first reaction is to run away and don't face it. For example, if you are feeling afraid of something, if you are feeling guilty, the first reaction is to try to escape this feeling. But it doesn't solve the problem. You have to make this connection. You have to understand how it hurts you. And it, it's like chains. You start dreaming and thinking about your future but you don't have strength to do it because every time that your inner part dreamer says i want to do something in my life the critic says meditation be careful you have failed in your past and the achiever doesn't receive the energy that would come from the dreamer but the critic doesn't allow it to happen. So you can keep establishing your goals, but you don't have strength to make it work until it works. You have to pay attention uh, in the cycle of the energy because the dreamer dreams and take this energy, transforming it in action by the achiever when the achiever acts, the critic has to give value, valorize this action to take the action and transform it in more faith. And sometimes when you face a challenge, you feel fear, you feel too small because you just forget what you have done in your life, what you overcome, what you conquest in your life. And when you face that moment in your life, your dreamer that is dreaming about the success have to remember all the things that the achiever has done in his life. So you start putting yourself down because you cannot see the value that your achiever has. And it's really common to see People that has strong, a strong achiever, but the dreamer is too full of fear and he looks to, f to, to the future and cannot see the success happening. They don't believe, don't have faith in that achiever. How would you pursue your dreams? if you don't believe in yourself? How will you face your challenge if you don't remember what you have done in your life? But if it, it is something bothering you, it's like an exam. If you touch your arm, your arm and you feel pain, you have to look inside. You have to go to a doctor and take an exam to see what is happening inside. So if you feel fear, if you don't have confidence to face your challenges. You have to look for it and you have to discover how it works inside of you. Because when you organize your inside puzzle, everything works outside. So pay attention on these three steps. They are really simple, but you have to do it with patience and kindness. And the first step is reading your feelings. You have to make this connection, you have to understand it. Close your eyes, take a deep breath 
make this connection with this feeling for you understand it better and say loud welcome in the name of the feeling so how do you feel saying welcome to this feeling is a little bit weird but when you start recognizing understanding it better you have much more chances to solve it to face it now let's go to the second step you have to find many resources to overcome this one feeling and the tip is you have to make this fight unfair you have to find many 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 resources to overcome only one feeling for example if you are feeling is fear you have to take confidence you have to take peace faith calmness you have to take all the resources that you need to overcome this one feeling so make your list right now and don't take so few resources take as much as you can to make this fight unfair and then third step you have to define a motto to give you this resource usually I do it in three columns first column what is bothering me my pain my bad feelings and my bad thoughts in the second column is the resources many resources for each pain and then to finish you have to specify a person that has that resource that will give to you in that example about fear that we were talking you may uh, pick confidence I want to pick confidence and what is your model of confidence and you can choose any person it can be uh, a person that you know a person that you saw in a movie you can pick anyone that has that resource and then with kindness and patience you have to make this meeting you have to make this connection but you have to take the first step first it is really important to understand this kind of fear to you maybe I have fear sometimes and it can be different from your fear so make this connection with your fear again or your guilty or anything that is bothering you a feeling or a thought please close your eyes make this connection feel your fear or other feeling that you have now try to discover how it works in you and then say welcome in the name of the feeling you may open your eyes and how do you feel tell me as I can hear you so now we have to make the connection to the resources read all the resources that you created now that you choose now and try to find the most important one so close your eyes try to imagine your model that will give you the resource try to see the color of the resource the resource coming to you grow inside of you take a deep breath make the connection with the person that's giving to you the resource and say welcome with the name of the resource now you may open your eyes and tell me again how do you feel as I can hear you and you can take the second resource that you feel that it's most important now close your eyes make this connection with the person that will give to you the resource take a deep breath you can see the color of the resource in that person's hand you can see the resource getting inside of you growing inside of you in your arms in your legs take a deep breath and say welcome with the name of the resource 
you may open your eyes. And how do you feel now? Better? So, homework. You have to make this meeting with everybody that will give to you all these resources that you chose. And try to make this connection as you are really meeting with this person, receiving the resource, watching the color of the resource, allowing the resource to grow inside of you. And I would be really glad if you could send us an email with the results of this exercise. And you have to practice it every day in your life. You have to pay attention all day long about your bad feelings and your bad thoughts that you can have in your day. So, I'm ready for your emails and see you in our next class tomorrow. Bye!